China-Korea nuclear power industry competition. South Korea's nuclear power plants generate 180 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually. How much is China's? The energy field is a focus of development for all countries in the modern world. After all, energy is very important for the development of subsequent industries. With the increasing reduction of traditional fossil energy and the increasing environmental awareness of various countries, countries around the world are also gradually completing the traditional transformation in the energy field, taking electricity resources as the main body. Excluding wind power generation, hydropower generation and solar power generation affected by natural resources, the nuclear power field is relatively more worthy of attention. In this field, South Korea has formed local autonomy with technological breakthroughs. It is said that South Korea's nuclear power plants can generate 180 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually. So how much is China? Let us take a closer look in this video. If we talk about the nuclear power industry, we can find that although South Korea is not a big country, it has mastered very advanced nuclear power technology and is the fifth largest nuclear power country in the world. From a historical perspective, as early as 1956, South Korea had reached a corresponding nuclear energy cooperation agreement with the United States and began to develop the nuclear energy industry. In 1962, South Korea successfully completed the first small research reactor. Since then, South Korea's nuclear power industry has also entered a critical development stage. Just 10 years later, South Korea started construction of its first nuclear power plant in the country and began to formally develop the nuclear power industry. The biggest impact on South Korea's nuclear power industry technology is of course South Korea's open policy. When South Korea just started to develop the nuclear power industry, it was almost very positive about the introduction of export-oriented technology. They began to introduce nuclear power technology from France, the United States and Canada and quickly completed the construction of the domestic nuclear power industry market. In less than a few years, 14 nuclear power units have been built and put into use in the market. In the subsequent development, Korean local enterprises have achieved technological breakthroughs and developed the third-generation reactor. The technological breakthrough has indeed made South Korea's nuclear power industry enter the forefront of the world and naturally played an important role in the development of various domestic industries. It is worth noting that in modern society, due to the gradual depletion of traditional fossil energy and the increase in environmental awareness in various countries, Electricity resources seem to have become the main energy source. The development and progress of the nuclear power industry may bring more obvious promotion and assistance to various domestic industries. It has been more than 20 years since South Korea made a breakthrough in nuclear power technology and formed the local autonomy of this industry. So what is the development of South Korea's nuclear power industry now? As mentioned before, South Korea had completed the construction of 14 nuclear power units at the beginning of this century, providing a large amount of energy for its domestic industries. After seeing the benefits of the development of the nuclear power industry, the South Korean government has also been continuously promoting it. With the influx of domestic and foreign capital, South Korea's nuclear power industry has once again achieved growth and development. According to relevant media reports, as early as 2012, South Korea had completed the construction and commissioning of the 27th nuclear power unit. 
By 2022, there will be about 24 nuclear power units in operation in South Korea, with a total installed capacity of 24.65 GW, accounting for more than 30% of the national power installed capacity structure. Of course, the power resources provided by the nuclear power industry are very important for the development of subsequent industries. South Korea naturally understands this very well, so it pays more attention to the increase in the size of the nuclear power industry. In 2022, the South Korean government announced the subsequent 14-year power plan, intending to increase nuclear power installed capacity to 31.7 GW. The development and construction of nuclear power units has brought South Korea's nuclear power generation performance to a new peak. As of last year, the total annual power generation of South Korea's nuclear power plants has exceeded 180 billion kilowatt hours. According to this data, it has accounted for more than 30% of its total domestic power generation. The power generation of South Korea's nuclear power industry and its share of the total domestic power generation highlight the importance of the South Korean government to the nuclear power industry and naturally show us the speed of South Korea's power structure transformation. In the future, the development of various industries in South Korea will also benefit from this thereby achieving a faster technological transformation and achieving substantial development. Judging from the relevant goals set by South Korea, South Korea seems to have made nuclear power a strong country as the focus of development in the next few years. The development of South Korea's nuclear power industry is very shocking, so how is China's nuclear power industry now? Relatively speaking, China's nuclear power industry started later than South Korea. China only began to establish a nuclear industrial system in the 1950s and has also gone through a long and tortuous road in the peaceful use of nuclear energy. It can be found that China's first commercial nuclear power plant was officially put into commercial operation in February 1994 which can be said to be more than 20 years later than South Korea. What is more noteworthy is that it took more than 30 years from the beginning of China's realization of independence in the field of nuclear energy to the market application, which is much longer than those Western European and American developed countries. This shows how difficult it is for China to take the road of nuclear energy. However, China's industrial market is huge and has huge development potential. For China, the difficulty of developing any technology-based industry is only at the beginning. As long as China can achieve the process from zero to one, it can also develop and grow rapidly in the future. The rapid development of many industrial fields in China seems to prove this point, and the same is true for nuclear power. In the 1970s, China began to apply nuclear energy to the level of power resources and began to build its first nuclear power plant in the country. However, due to technical limitations and the long-term technical blockade of Western countries, Therefore, the development of China's nuclear power industry is not smooth, but China has not given up the dream of realizing the independence of this industry. With the promotion of relevant policies and the continuous efforts of Chinese scientific researchers, in 1991, the Qinshan Nuclear Power Plant, the first independently designed nuclear power plant in China's history, was finally completed and connected to the grid for the first time at the end of the same year. This makes China the seventh country in the world that can design and build nuclear power plants completely on its own. In 1994, the nuclear power plant also began to be put into the market operation stage. In the subsequent development, 
China comprehensively considered the development structure of the power resources industry market and China's market development tendency. Compared with nuclear power, China pays more attention to hydropower generation and wind power generation. As for nuclear power, it is only used as a supplement to China's power resources. Of course, China has not relaxed the development of this field and is still actively expanding the market and expanding the scale. With the passage of time, China has made great progress in photovoltaic, hydropower and wind power, and the same is true in the field of nuclear power. As of June 30, 2023, the number of nuclear power units in operation in mainland China has reached 55, with an installed capacity of 56,993.34 MVE. This data has already been at the forefront of the world. It has to be said that China has achieved a latecomer in the field of nuclear power. As of the end of 2023, China's total nuclear power generation has reached 440 billion kilowatt hours. This data is far higher than South Korea, and it is only slightly lower than the United States at the international level, but this is also temporary. The power resources in China's domestic market have been fully met, and the development of hydropower, wind power and photovoltaic industries has also tended to be perfect. For the nuclear power industry, which is more important in the future market, it will naturally become the focus of China's subsequent energy development. You know, China's market size is extremely large, and it also has sufficient advantages in labor resources, which also shows that China's nuclear power industry market has huge untapped potential. With the passage of time, China's nuclear power industry will naturally be able to achieve faster development, and eventually China will definitely surpass the United States and become the world's number one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.